Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, God. Queen, you killed her. All right. So what do you think, Saul? I know we don't have much time before the showing, but we do still have some time for some adjustments. Please be honest. Don't go easy on me just because I'm your boss. I think they're amazing. Really? Yeah. Yeah, especially this one. You're not just saying that to be nice. Hey, would I ever lie to you? No. No, I'm just feeling a little vulnerable without Thomas here. But I think he'd be into them, right? I mean, I know he still believes in me. You know, more importantly, Sally, I believe in you. Thomas is in New York, and my beauty here is becoming more and more of a reality every day. It's pretty messed up even for you, Dollar Bill. Telling Thomas that Carolina is dying when she's not. That's pretty cold, man. It's business. It's yeah. brilliant. Liam doesn't seem to think so. Well, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if my bleeding heart son has blabbed to his wife already. Although I think Steffi will appreciate my efforts to keep Sally out of her brother's life. Are you doing this to get the Spectrum property? Hell oh, yeah. That's how much this project means to me. And if plan A doesn't work, I've got a plan B. Which <laughs> as it takes. Come in. CJ, my man. Thanks for dropping by. Said you wanted to speak with me? I did indeed. You see, here's the thing. I'm tired of waiting. It's time to make a deal. up and running you put specter on the map you did that not thomas you we're a team we all played a part yeah well i've always had faith in you and i always will you know i think that we can pull this off we don't need thomas to create a new line we can do this ourselves uh, oh yes we do need thomas Especially with Bill Spencer gunning for us. In a stunning development sure to rock the fashion world, Thomas Forrester has taken a leave of absence from Spectra. Will the struggling design house survive without him? Sources say the outlook is grim. Now, the original headline was Bargain Basement Bottom Feeders Dead in the Water. I, mean, I really got a kick out of that one. But against my better judgment, I changed it. Probably best. So I'm not going to lie to you, CJ. Things are not looking good for them. It would be a complete disaster for you. I'm aware of that. But they've been paying their rent on time, and with Thomas coming back... You can't count on that! Listen, that's not going to happen. And you're going to be in a world of trouble, but here's the deal. Don't worry. You have a good-looking bearded angel sitting on your shoulder. I'm going to bail you out. I'm going to buy that pile of rubble right here and right now. Sheila went to the house instead of coming here? Yeah, I mean, Quinn texted Eric and then he just tore out of here. <sighs> Quinn and Sheila were alone at the house together? Yeah, she stopped by to return Eric's watch. Yeah, and ran into Quinn instead. I can't imagine that went very well. Sheila, we called 911. She, oh, good. Sheila, thank God. Sheila, okay, okay. I'll help you. Come on. I'm out. Sure. Got her face. 